Well, earlier this month, tragedy struck East Valley High School after two seniors were killed in a car crash while driving to a senior sunrise event at the school. Today, the family of Kirsten Knoll held a public memorial for family, friends and other community members to share memories of the teenager and celebrate the life she lived. Bronte Srotsky has that story. Family, friends, and other community members gathered in Spokane Valley this Saturday to honor and remember the life of Kirsten Noel, an East Valley senior who died in a car crash. God has my beautiful baby. <laughs> Mirabeau Point Park was packed this Saturday with people sharing their love for Kirsten. Because she was loved by all of us. And this is what we get. Kirsten, along with her friend Sydney Stangle, died from their injuries after being hit by a dump truck while trying to make a U-turn. Her family invited the driver to the memorial service. They say they want to support him through this. We wanted to invite him and his family, show them support and love, and let him know that you know he was very welcome to be here. He was great. Throughout the service, friends and family spoke about Kirsten. Some sharing letters they wrote to her after she had died. Others sharing memories of her and how she touched all their lives. It's really wonderful to hear all the stories. We knew most of them, but there's few that we didn't know and how they touched their hearts or how she touched their hearts. Mm -hmm. It was truly amazing. Her family set up an area for people to pay their respects. They could look at photos of Kirsten and leave messages for her family to read later. So, first of all, with the pillows, it was she lined up her shirts for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we had them all made into a pillow. And then we had, a, obviously, a book for everybody to put in memories or whatever. And then we had memory boxes just for people to put whatever they wanted. And then obviously, we have to look through that later. <laughs> After the memorial service, friends and family members placed rocks that Kirsten painted at a nearby waterfall in her memory. Reporting in Spokane Valley, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now.